seeing as this meeting tends to go a little bit long when the, the earlier we get started, the better. Uh, uh, so uh, here, let me share the uh, meeting minutes again. Please sign in. Thank you to whoever shared it earlier. And I'll just share it one more time since you know, I've just came in. Okay, uh, so let's just, uh, shall we just jump through the, uh, the agenda? Uh, the first, the first uh, bullet we have is overall timeline uh, for Google Summer of Code and Google Summer of Docs. I'm not sure who put that in, but I would love to know some of those dates as well. Uh, so I can say Google Summer of Code has one next week is the last week for that. Um, and then final evaluations are due right after that. So work should be in theory wrapping up based on the scope that was given. Not that, you know, the students who are working on their stuff can't continue, but um, yeah, that project will officially end uh, at the end of next week, I believe. What's, and then what's Google the official date on that? Um, the official date is September. September. Uh, it's fifth September to twelfth September, the final week. September twelfth. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes, yes. September twelfth. Yeah. I do and see then, final uh, evaluations are due that week. Yes, they're okay. due some some time before the nineteenth, from the twelfth to the nineteenth. And then Google season of docs does not officially end until, uh, well, the final evaluations are due on November 29th. So that one goes a little longer. November 29th? Yeah, it's yeah. so long. Yeah. It's long. You know, I think for, uh, for some reason, I was thinking the, the Google Summer of Code dates kind of were, were closer aligned with the Google Summer of Doc stuff. I thought the same thing yesterday when I think mean, whenever you pointed it out, Elizabeth, that season of Docs goes so long. Yeah, because yeah, it's like a whole season. Or like, I mean, I guess summer is a season, but <laughs> when you think it's of like seasons of Docs. Stuff. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a little tiny, yeah. I mean, yeah, and Google Summer of Code did start earlier, I think, than, yeah, I don't remember now, but yeah. So anyway, that's the dates. Okay, excellent. Uh, so shall we do a, a update from Knowledge Base? So this will be, uh, Yash will start this time. Uh, I'll just uh, turn, the, uh, turn the mic over to him and I can share my screen if that's helpful. Yeah, yeah sure. that would be great, Kevin. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, so basically what we have is we have now defined three clear paths for the users uh, that we want to have on the main slider. So these paths are basically for the chaos community and one is for getting started and others for metrics and metric models. So basically we have these three root pages and I just wanted to make sure that these the design of these pages is aligned with the, you know, sort of the redesign of the website that we are doing, the colors, the fonts, and oh, another thing I was concerned about was if uh, do you need to change uh, the layout of these pages? Because currently what we have is, initially we are presenting the description uh, of the root page, uh, then we have the search bar, and then we have the subcategories in that, and then we provide some information modules related to the knowledge base. So. 
maybe the design team could have a look and give some comments. I have a question. Are the the like organization platform project software are those um, like just quick links to the context tags? Right now, right now, that's what that looks like. So when you click on it, it pops up a, a list of all of the items that are tagged with organization. And okay. organization is is a context tag. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that idea. Just to like one click. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I guess don't we have? Um, I don't know that that's the perfect the current list or is life cycle? Don't we have an ecosystem somewhere? Yeah, we had ecosystem, but uh, we didn't have any metrics classified in the ecosystem, as far as oh. I remember. Okay. So just to maintain the symmetry, I <laughs> okay. sort of added the nine. Okay. But sure, if we have any metric that comes in the ecosystem context area, we can definitely add it here. Okay. No, I, that's a good idea. I like that. I'll be honest with you with the with the that ecosystem context tag. I've always kind of wondered what was going to get tagged there. Uh, we just uh, had the reason I ask is we just in the metrics model meeting on on Wednesday or Tuesday there was one that actually got tagged ecosystem. Really? Uh huh. It does, so it looks at multiple projects, or uh, is it no. it uses an ecosystem perspective? It was right at the end, so let me go. You know what I mean? Let me. We didn't really talk through it so much. So. Oh yeah, we can we can look at it later. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so there are, uh, as Yash said, there are three distinct paths. So metrics models, uh, community. That's the other one, right? Uh, yeah. Is it uh, just the community? link is in the the link is in the meeting minutes. Oh. Ah, okay. So, so these are just sort of dummy topic areas for now, since I don't know if the community handbook structure is finalized yet. So I just sort of added in some dummy topic areas, but we can finalize them as the structure of the community handbook gets finalized. And this will be the knowledge base page that also has the calendar on it, by the way. What do you mean by that? This is where the calendar for the website's going to go. The like the meeting calendar. Yep. Okay. The one we have on the participate page. I yep. think. All right. Yep. Right. So this. Is that. Yep. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Is that participate page going away then, or just the calendar part of that? Uh, it's going away. So parts of parts of that page will end up in the. Well, it'll end up on in here. And parts of that page will probably end up in the new user uh, getting started knowledge base page. So uh, individually, some of the some of that information could stay like the calendar could actually have its own page as well. Uh, that we could throw in navigation. Uh, but yeah, the participate that the participate navigation is going away. Uh, so, because we point people to that a lot, so um, in lieu of that, where should we point people just to the generic, like to this page right here of all of the Yes, yeah, so this, this page would, so the, the Chaos Community page uh, describes the, the structure of Chaos, so it includes working group information, uh, and then it'll also include the the calendar right so uh this is basically the for the, if uh if you're an existing member of the community you'd point them to this one if they are a new member you point them to the other knowledge base page I generally see. generally speaking however there's probably useful information in both places okay uh, but the but if you the, if you search sorry Kevin I didn't mean to interrupt you if I sorry. search in if I'm in chaos community knowledge base and I search for something that also might have a, a result in the metrics 
will that also pull in or, or is it like just just searching this group? Uh, it's limited to this. Uh, the knowledge bases are the individual knowledge base searches are limited to this this knowledge base. However, we also have the ability to put all of the knowledge bases together and do a search there. And that is a page that we are actually going to create. It'll be the, the full knowledge base page that includes everything. Uh, however, that's uh, uh, we're not going to worry about that until the end. So the the focus for us is on create creating these three clear paths, and then okay. everything else is just kind of extra. Uh, and then in regards to the participate page going away, the consistent message that I've been receiving on that participate page is that uh, people didn't like it, it didn't have the information that they needed uh and it was confusing so so there there hasn't been uh uh i'm not opposed to keeping it but i have not uh i haven't heard anyone say we should keep it i'm just thinking of the links <laughs> all the places that link to that and they'll all be yeah. broken but that's okay we'll sort those out as we go yeah i i i like having a central place that has all that information but it is like drinking from a fire hose right so it's just, it's all there. Uh, and then the other one was getting started. So, so, the, so the three paths are community, getting started, and metrics models. And Yash, I'll, I'll throw it back to you. Yeah. So basically we have this page for the newcomers and yeah, so basically we want to tell newcomers on what all can they do when they enter the chaos community. So they can uh, contribute, they can be a user of the metric. And yeah, basically that. Maybe some stepping stones to understand what chaos is all about. So Elizabeth and Ruth, um, Elizabeth, Ruth and I, we're working on a, a way for people, you can probably see where I'm going with this. We're working on a spreadsheet right now as ways for people to get involved in the project. and which is basically like, you know, if you're interested in web content, for example, on the spreadsheet, reach out to Kevin Lombard and he'll, he'll tell you when the meetings are and all that kind of stuff. And you can pick up action items in the meeting. Like we're not trying to track the tasks yeah. across all working groups anymore. That's impossible. So I'm thinking maybe that spreadsheet could go in here somewhere, you know, right here probably. Yeah. Like, so here are the community, the community guidelines thing is just kind of taking up space right now. Okay. That could, that could be that document that you have. Yeah. So here's like the 15 things that we're currently doing in the project yeah. and here are the contacts on Slack. Just go ahead and reach out to them and they'll, they'll connect you in. Uh, yeah. Kevin and Yash, is this page pulling from the handbook then? Um, I th okay, perfect. Because I know that Ruth and Shoya were working on that, like that block right there, a quick start, and the community guide, like all of that stuff, is also in the handbook. So that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure yeah. the community guidelines. It may actually fit better with the uh, community page rather than the than the getting started. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. But uh, but right now it's yeah we're just pulling it. It's kind of the the way the way stuff gets organized into that community handbook is sometimes it's a flip of a coin does it belong in this folder or this folder or from uh on the website for for our pathway our pathways uh when we get to the getting started page uh it's it's not about providing kind of like information like this community guidelines it's actually it's about providing like actionable pathways that they can take not any uh, that that background information, for example, like if they need a template to do work, uh, uh, those things should be accessible as well. Or if they need to know what the the community guidelines are, they should be accessible as well uh, through the search. Uh, but it's not something we're we're putting out forward, right? So we want clear pathways to get them participating as fast as possible or to get them to the place where they want to go, so. I think as Matt said that we could have that spreadsheet integrated here. Yeah. Uh, so that would be a really great idea, I think, because that provides the user a direct contact person 
in the relation to the field in which he is interested. Yeah. And each each of these knowledge base pages will have two of these modules that can allow us to kind of direct people to to these or to to highlight these really important documents, right? So right now for uh, chaos community, we're thinking it's going to be working groups, right? So this is the section where we'll have all the kind of the working group information uh, and the calendar. Uh, and then when we're searching through the knowledge base, you know, that's, that's the info about how the project is structured and governed, right? Uh, and then the, uh, for the models, where did I lose it? Oh, there it is. For the models, we have obviously the, the metrics and models are in the, the topic area that are sorted by context area, which on the website is called topic areas. We can search, and when we click on these, we can get lists of all of the metrics that belong there. Uh, and then right now, what we were kind of thinking is that we have a module that's kind of devoted to chaos software and chaos initiatives, uh, because these are two things that basically take metrics and models and kind of instantiate them in real life, right? So, so the idea here is that you know we can we can search metrics and models and we can look at them, and if we go further down, we can actually we could see some of these metrics and models in action, and we can see them through chaos initiatives and we can see them through software. Uh, now, mind you, the the content that's in here probably links out to other pages, uh, but this is just kind of a just the idea is that we go from metrics from metrics and models to instantiations of metrics and models down below, if that makes sense. It does. I might suggest that the title indicates that a little bit. Not that title, the title at the top, like knowledge base, like oh, metric models, yeah. software, and initiatives, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and more than like that'll more than likely that'll match the when we when we come from the main page, the title here will match the the text from the sliders as they come through. So, which, and we do have those slider images now. So uh, in regards to the website design, uh, Bella, my, Bella and I were looking at that the other day. Uh, we spent a couple hours kind of poking around the website. Uh, so the, I, I think we can have the, uh, the front page of the website maybe done within, within a week. Uh, and then we can move on to uh, other parts of the website. I think she's she's looking at the about pages currently. So, and I, yeah, Ash, do you have anything else you want to say about knowledge base? Uh, no, basically, this is what we have been doing over the summer. And yeah, I just wanted some feedback from the design team if they have some time, uh, if they could just uh, go through the these pages and if they have any recommendations yeah i would yeah i would uh i would echo that statement and maybe ask ask Bellama if she could take a look at these these three pages specifically uh with the idea that the i i think we we do definitely want a page description section the search bar the topic area section and then two modules on each page uh the order of this stuff could be up for discussion. Uh, and then obviously the, the formatting and design of the page can be can be adjusted as well. So if I could if I could add that to your, your list of to do's, Bella, that would be great. Um, no problem. I could check it out later. Thank you. Uh, and then in regards to Google Summer of Code ending, uh, once we have kind of the overall structure and design of the, the knowledge base in place, uh, we're pretty close to being done. So it's just a matter of uh, moving the documents in and moving the folders in. Uh, and I, I, I don't think on on for the Google Summer of Code project, I don't think there's an expectation that that, that can be done completely by Yash. 
Uh, so I, I don't think the I don't think that was ever an expectation. Uh, just because we're aligning with the uh, the community handbook, it's just we'll be we'll be moving stuff in, but the structure will be created, uh, and we can continue moving documents in going forward uh, as the as new documents are created or as new topic areas are created. Uh, if that makes sense. Hey, Kevin, just yes, yeah, I mean, just I'm completely think... fine. If we want to stay, yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, Yash. Okay, so I was just saying, yeah, I mean, it's not like I would disappear once uh, the 12 September date has passed. You can always ping me on Slack if you need some help in regards to the knowledge base, and I'll be available. So yeah, if you basically need some more help with the knowledge base, because I understand that the project will continue to develop the knowledge base, will continue to have more documents. So I could work unofficially outside of the Google Summer of Code timeline. That's not a very big issue, I would say. So yeah. And I was just gonna say, I think, I should probably let Ruth jump in here or, or Shoya, I don't think Shoya's on the call, but it looks like Shoya, had just merged in the final um, not, uh, handbook structure, all the folders and everything. She made that, she merged in that PR earlier. So that might be ready to go. Okay. Uh, it's, it's ready to go, like um, the structure we have now. Okay, that's great. I mean, I can start pulling in those documents then. I think, I think what we are just doing um, after now is updating the content and like um, the writing and adding some other pages. So that's what you are doing currently, but the structure, the folder structure is ready to go. Okay. Okay. That's Excellent. great. I mean, the basic concern with the knowledge base is the folder structure. Uh, the content gets dynamically updated, so that's not an issue. And then on, on our end, uh, we do need to uh, finish, uh, we need to add keywords to the, uh, the metrics and models, which I think, I think Elizabeth had said that uh, you were going to help with that. Is that yes? No? Am I making yeah. that up? Yeah, it's happening. And I think the just a comment on that, I think one of the nice things is it's now been like, fully introduced and discussed in each one of the working groups mm -hmm. and including the metrics model working group so I, I think that conversation has now really successfully worked its way through the project okay uh is that so is that something that we want to assign individually or do we just want to have a, a meeting and just blaze through them on the uh on the spreadsheet uh i could i could see both working out pretty well it's probably faster if we just meet and just like somebody shares their screen and we just go through. Yeah, I bet you we could keyword them pretty fast doing that. Yeah. So I will let you, do you want to, you or Elizabeth, would you like to set up a time to do that? Sure, I can do that. Okay. All right. Uh, so thank you, Yash. Uh, I think the the knowledge base is, is looking pretty good. I think uh, I'm excited to see how functional it is once the once we have it up and running. Uh, and then additionally, we will be able to uh, as the uh, we will be able to track these pages so we can see what people are landing on, uh, and we can track other components of the, the website as well. We have not we have not done that in the past. Uh, but moving forward, I think it's probably a, a good idea to start uh, tracking users on the site, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, so one of the very interesting features of Minerva is that, uh, if you, I don't know if you are able to access this link, but it provides a lot of analytics. Uh, For the knowledge base so itself, yeah. Articles that, yeah, yeah. So, so it might be interesting to see what what metric 
is most landed on or what metric model is most landed on mm -hmm. uh, or even you know what some of the keyword searches are coming in uh, to the to yep. the knowledge base because that can that can help us with uh, future design and also uh, uh, metrics and model definition I believe yeah. so so that yeah I'm excited about that so and with that we should probably turn it over to uh the next people are we switching to uh is this handbook or are we going to design updates uh the design i think i put that in there i just want to give some updates um okay no i have already mentioned that um part of um adding content in the handbook so we can move to design updates okay. yeah so um this is like um, update for Maxwell. Uh, Maxwell designed um, a new branded slide deck. Uh, um, if you can navigate to the link. Oh, am I, I'm still sharing my screen, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Navigate to the link. I can't share my Excellent. screen right now. Yeah, so, yeah, so uh, Maxwell did like a new um, slide deck. Uh, which we could, uh, you know, for ChaosCon, I don't know if it's still, it's still, it's too late to kind of like send to the speakers if we want to send to them to kind of like create their slides with. I don't know if it's late right now, but this is the branded template for slides and you can use it in the future. You know, anyone that wants to talk about chaos in any conference or any other thing. So this is the branded slide deck. Cool. Where is this going to live? Yeah. So the wrapping of the work, uh, Maxwell will be doing like a brand, a, a brand kit that will live in a drive, a Google Drive link that will be in the chaos drive. So I'm going to create like a general brand kit drive uh, link and everything that every design element will be added there. So to Google, to Google Drive? Yes, the chaos Google Drive. Okay. Yeah, so I um, don't know if anyone has any feedback on this slide. So I, I really like it. Um, I, I like one of the things I've been seeing is the, like the, the picture you're looking at right now, Kevin, those kind of circles and lines, how they've, that kind of like retains the old um, imagery you know, that we had with chaos while kind of giving it a, a new look. So I like mm -hmm. that a lot. The slide integrates the, the new design. Mm -hmm. I, agree. I feel like I've been seeing that on the right hand side there. I've been seeing that a few times and I really, I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it kind of like matches with um, everything. So it's really cool. So what do, um, so Ruth, the idea is to put everything into a branding drive on Google. Would we share this on the website? Probably, Kevin, is there a place to share that link? So I would actually go, I would go a step further than branding. I would, I think we need a, a central repository for all of our assets. images and assets. Uh, yeah. So uh, the logos, community pictures, uh, things like this. Uh, now it, it can be it could be in in uh, GitHub if we want. Uh, I'm not I'm not opposed to either GitHub or, or Google Drive. Uh, I will say it can be like there are there are pros and cons to both so if if we put it in github the the naming conventions need to be really explicit because you can't preview images as easily in github uh but uh you know, cool. yeah if, if it's in google drive we'll need to link from the community handbook to google drive to these 
to these folders. But yeah, I would say I, I would love to like one central place that has all of this stuff. And maybe the maybe the folder structure matches the community handbook uh, for images or uh, I don't know, or maybe we keep it all in GitHub. So my initial inclination is to have it in a Google Drive, but I understand, like there are, I totally agree, Kevin, there are pluses and minuses to doing that. A, a minus for me is we don't really use Google Drive for that. We use Google Drive oftentimes for like kind of working out metrics models and working out metrics, you know, it's kind of this dynamic place. And so we really haven't used Google Drive as a place to store things, um, that's a negative. A positive for Google Drive is that it seems like a more appropriate and easy, more easily accessible place for this kind of stuff. Like mm -hmm. just for people to get to quickly, that's the advantage of Google Drive for me. Um, and so I'm thinking for, anyway, I, like I said, I don't, want, those are kind of the pros and cons for me. Like completely <laughs> like poorly weighted in the last one minute my inclination is towards google drive but that's just me even if the I, yeah. even if the plan is to eventually move it into github google drive is a good place to start uh to organize the organize everything and maybe categorize it so yeah i would agree with that Cheers. i've seen i've seen a lot of our assets uh and many of them don't have explicit names. <laughs> so without without like opening them up and, and looking at the properties, it can be hard. like just a like a like a chaos logo, for example. There's who knows what that's going to be named. I don't know what the size is. Yeah, I don't know if it has a transparent background or not. I don't know if it's so and then I so I have to open it up. I have to look at the properties. Uh, and a lot of that stuff can be added to the the naming convention for the logo. Uh, so maybe if we were to collect everything that we have and put it into Google Drive and start sorting it, and then mm -hmm. if we wanted to move it into GitHub after and later, mm -hmm. uh, that might be the the first step. Might be moving it into Drive, and maybe and maybe we just keep it there, but yeah. the, move it into Drive and then organize it. And and to the point I made at the beginning, it's I think all of our assets should go there that aren't traditional markdown documents, right? That aren't like uh, templates. I think templates are fine. Yeah, templates are fine in, in chaos community, but yeah, but yeah, presentation slides, pictures of the community, yeah. logos, artwork that we've designed, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Uh, PDFs, if the like branding, so branding documents are usually created on PDFs. Uh, so because they because you can drop a PDF into uh, Adobe Illustrator and and use like the actual the actual images right so so all of the like branding branding sheets that I see are often PDFs uh, so and stuff like that could exist within this drive as well. Agreed. Um, I'm trying to think. Didn't Nicole do like a slide deck along those lines? Just like guidelines for usage. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. The only my only concern with using the drive is that it's really mm -hmm. hidden. Like you have to have the link, and the link doesn't really exist anywhere except for the people who know where it is. So that would be my only thing. Is like we need to publish that link to the main drive somewhere. We could yeah. put in the community repo. I mean, we could have an assets folder with the, just a readme that does point to the doc or to the folder, I should say, you know, and we could put it on the website too. I mean, we do kind of have an assets, like a sort of an assets page. You know what I mean? It's the logos. I think it's yeah. called media right now. That would probably exist in the, the community knowledge base, which has the, the governance and structure information. Mm -hmm. So, yep. right. And that could just be one more tile that's like, community assets or something like that or yeah does that work for you elizabeth okay yep just as long as people who need it can find it yeah 
that's the really that's the big issue for me right now is that I, I I I need some of these things and it's and I know where a lot of stuff is but I still have trouble finding it so uh, okay uh, where were we at where, and we also wanted to look at the conference banner and flyer I think the by the way I think those slides look great. Okay. So yeah, this um Maxwell kind of like also designed like um from class we could this okay, this is the banner. Um I think so, yeah. Like we could print a banner for uh ChaosCon um <coughs> Europe and the other one is the flyer we could share on socials, um Twitter and like it's still in the same drive. Uh, yeah, this I think the first one. Yep, yeah. So this one's more like social media friendly to share on Twitter or maybe LinkedIn. Oh yeah, these are the two, but the other ones that we printed, maybe um like conference room or something like that. This is great. Try and see if I can pick out people. Hold on. That was, yeah, that was in Seattle. Oh, uh, Sean. Elizabeth. I'm standing over, I'm standing off the page over here. That oh, it's Sophia right. in the bottom left. Oh yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yep, I, I think that looks good too. Uh, and then, uh, uh, so can you, Ruth, like this is that folder thing, like where is this folder? <laughs> and is this in the chaos project right now? So right now, Maxwell has been sending it to me from his own drive, so okay. going to like round up the work uh, next week. So he's putting everything together. I'm going to create a drive link for now. Okay. Um, from the and just add Maxwell then putting everything together. Okay. Link. So I'll we have a, just print the conference banner here so if I could get that that first one that you showed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we so we have a, a chaos uh chaos community drive? Yep. Can we just can we create a high level folder? To hold all of kind of the content that we have been discussing and maybe share idea. and share that link to the folder uh on the uh maybe in the web content slack channel yeah and then maxwell you can just put your work directly in there yeah. and I'll, I'll move any assets that i have in there and maybe we can ask everyone to move their stuff in there and then we can maybe sort it yeah <laughs> I'm in there right now. You want me to just create that right now? That, that'd yeah, be great. Oh, well, there is one called Media Docs and Files. Is that? Do we want everything in there? Presentation and social tiles, video scripts. Oh, that sounds. <laughs> look at us. We're, we've already done it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Do we want to? So that I think that that folder would uh, encompass maybe half of the things we're talking about do we, but do we need do we need a folder that would include kind of uh, what I had mentioned earlier was all of our community images as well and all of our logo art uh, and the the design things that aren't necessarily media and uh, like the medium presentation is what what this one was called right yeah, maybe we just rename this Elizabeth to like media docs and files. It's called right now, and I can easily media there is a, a another folder for um, community uh, photos, I think. So I can just drag that over. Inside what do you want it, to call yeah. this? Actually, in re in retrospect, media docs and files might be a might actually be the a good high level. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. Maybe add an images to it as well. Docs, images, files. media, docs, and files. 
There's another one called Chaos Design. Oh, look at us. Yeah, I think that one should exist. That one should probably exist in, in this one as well. I think we yeah, merge them all together. Okay. <laughs> I created the Chaos Design one. Okay, it's all getting merged in there. So sorry, whoever is needing to link to this or trying to find this. But... Uh, we're almost out of time. There is a question about badging website. And then uh, I did want to, uh, Django shared the, uh, the sliders. Uh, I don't have a, I wanted to share those here as well. I did share them in the uh, community meeting. What is the, is, what is the question on, question on badging? Uh, who put that in? Um, so, um, basically where, so they were creating some, um, like mock-ups and things like that for the badging website. Um, but we're not sure where to put those. If we should put them in a website folder in the badging org or add them to the website folder in the chaos org, like all of those, that information and, and such. Oh, oh so they're doing, they're doing design work on the on that this? yeah badging is going to have their own website and um the, we just weren't sure if it should be part of the chaos org or the badging org i don't know why did they decide to do their own website well i think because um like it's kind of expanding into project badging and event badging and there's just a lot to put there and so like we want to list like who all has had a badge and like here's the application so it's really kind of growing and it i don't know that it wanted they wanted to kind of muddle the chaos website with it um ruth can jump in if there are other reasons that i'm not sure of but yeah, and I, I, I was thinking that I was under the under the impression that it would be badging.chaos.community, but I could be wrong because I've been in and out of those conversations. I is it going to be is it going to be hosted through uh, Green Geeks? I believe so. Yes. So we've not really thought about hosting um, the the main so like Elizabeth said, those are the main ideas to kind of like um, show more of the information on badging and kind of like show more events that we badge because currently it's just um, on the readme, like the list of conferences are just there, you know, it's, it keeps going on and on and so really sustainable. And we also want to like show a little more of that work. And it's another um, reason is, um, I'm trying to also get uh, folks in the Chaos Africa participate on a project. So um, it, folks at Chaos Africa have been working on it, both designers and when they're done with the design, um, developers will also work on it. So the question we've been um, having is, uh, where would the website, the, the code uh, for the website, where would it live? Would it be on the Chaos or or in the badging org. Uh, so I mean, I mean, I suppose it depends how you're, what platform you're going to use to create the website. So I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're actually building a website, uh, and you need the code for it, then you're probably going to want to create a a new repo for it, and uh, I would probably you'd want to keep that separate from the, our existing chaos website. So uh, if you're going to build that content in WordPress and use a similar and use a similar method to the way we manage uh, our website, then uh, it could, it could exist. It could coexist in the, uh, the, the website repo. Uh, so, yeah, we if, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to add that we're going to use WordPress, so we're going to use like, um, React, uh, you're going to use the, uh, uh, you're going to create a GitHub website, right? So you're going to use Jekyll and, uh, 
yeah, more of like using React, like the web framework, because like JavaScript, um, too, because then we have like a lot of JavaScript developers in Chaos Africa, so the technology mm -hmm. they are familiar with. Um, so that's what we're going to be using, and yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would I would suggest you have your own have your own repo then. In so in the chaos or in, in the badging order. Yeah, badging. Okay. I think if it's if it's separate and it, it seems like it's going to be completely separate from the WordPress, like we're not even using WordPress. So I think probably the badging work would be the best place for that. There's, it doesn't relate to the chaos website at all. No, we'll just link to it. So we'll have a uh, uh, badging is one of the initiatives. So there'll be a we'll have a page on the website for badging, and it'll just link to you the website. Okay, that's that's great. I have with, that, with that, we should probably, if there if there isn't anything else, we should probably I, end the meeting. Is uh, there some something else? Sorry. No, um, something about how um, may, maybe we'll discuss this later when we think of like the technology, but something about how um, the current website um, they apply for a bad page connects with. Um, the GitHub or um, the the GitHub like the page for badging like apply for a badge connects with the GitHub um, the badging uh, event badging I think yeah so I was going to ask that but I think I'll just hold on till we have like a plan to what technology we are going to be using for the websites. Yeah, so no questions. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, we should probably go ahead and end this meeting then because we're, we're running a little long again.